Sydney Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue and I have with me here a really special little visitor called Ruby. Ruby is the buddy of Koa who were recently adopted and they're known as Team Kobe by one of our amazing, amazing volunteers here called Chantel. So Ruby has actually come back for a visit because she has an ongoing issue and it's to do with how stout her body shape is. Now Ruby is, um, is she one now? She's about one, or is she two? two. No, she's two years she's of age two. now, and she is a desexed female, but she has a really stout little body, so not a lot of distance between the front and the rear legs, and she's she's not overweight, but she definitely has this stout disposition. Now, one of the things that she is prone to is fungal, because she has got little areas where moisture can get trapped very easily between the front jowl area or neck area and her front paw and likewise in underneath her chest so if we take a look this is actually after a week of treatment because she lost a lot of hair in and around this area and you'll notice see how she's got these naked bits now this is not um this is not due to mites this is more due to entrapment of moisture in that area if you can imagine being uh, overweight and cap capturing you know lots of moisture in little rolls that's sort of what's going on here because she's low to the ground she's very stout and she's got these areas that tend to get moist now because she loves to also drink from a bowl and while her teeth are absolutely fine and there's no issues any moisture from the mouth that gets down onto this chest area immediately is captured. So she's now on the sipper bottle, which is the first change that you can make if you've got a piggy similar to, to Ruby. The next thing is that when they do get this um, sensitivity, which is, it's, you could almost say it's fungal, but it's actually caused, it's due to moisture in that area, excessive moisture. Um, what you can do you well what you can notice is they get very sore in that area and you'll see her jump now she's she's able for me now to touch her a week ago you couldn't actually touch these areas because it was so sore and so naked and she had no fur in those locations you can see that there so what you do in a situation like this is create a barrier cream now a put a barrier cream on there. Now pseudo cream is used for babies and it's a very thick white paste but what it does is create a barrier between the skin surface and any moisture so that in the event of moisture forming through dribbling or through being low to the ground where she's urinated and trapping moisture we don't want it going on to that area that's healing so what we've done with ruby earlier today is give her a bath in maliseb which is an antifungal because there's moisture involved and there's also hair loss involved but there's no white scaly skin we're just treating the the presence of any fungal that might want to take hold and now we're going to apply a barrier cream over that area we literally wipe it on to those areas and it creates a protective barrier between her and any moisture so that her skin can continue to recover and stay calm and uh, you can see she doesn't want me to touch there she's used to it hurting yeah that's okay we're just going to put this on you don't often see an issue like this and the difference between um, something caused by a fungal outbreak as opposed to shape of body and proximity to the ground and high humidity as well with this creation of moisture it just yeah it just makes any fungal flourish and they just can't get better it just spreads it widens and uh, becomes a problem so it's very different to some, something like psychoptic mange mites where we've got um, fungal occurring with the presence of mites um, I'm just going to move very slowly <laughs> sorry little girl it's, it's definitely good. improved since the oh, it has bottle. improved in the last week yeah the water bottle yes stopped yeah 
just down you can see a little bit down here and just we can just wipe that on in that area and we actually need to wipe it in so it's quite smooth and she's not going to ingest it so we're not putting layers of it we're just putting a nice moist covering over the area and it works really really well um, now barrier creams work well for a number of different problems and this is one of those that we're able to share with you now because we don't see it that often but she is you can see how thick set she is through here she's literally really really thick set and we've had high humidity which just makes fungal spur fun, fungal spores spread but in her case it just keeps it being really moist and sticky down there guinea pigs can't perspire they have no glands to perspire in their skin so any moisture that gets trapped in folds is just going to become really sore and nasty so if we do this it will get better i know little girl she'll get under her armpit okay but she's not wanting me to do it's all right good girl Ruby. yeah it's right in her armpit is sore okay. she didn't have that fold there I know, she's mm. little foils and the moisture just gets trapped completely. So you've just got to keep her completely dry before you apply this and making sure that her substrate and bedding is also completely dry so that again the healing process can continue. Once her new fur starts to come through, it's already it's made a big change actually in the last week, but that's continuing. Once we see her fully furred, she won't be sensitive to it at all. So we're not um, we're not overly treating for fungal, but we are trying to keep her calm enough that, that we can keep these naked areas dry or protected from any excess moisture. Okay, so that's it from me and from an upset Ruby, and we'll update you later. Okay, bye for now.